Hello guys, welcome back to the Terror Tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2.0 disconnected from Steam error. So without wasting time, let me direct to the point. First step we have to try is you just have to wait for a couple of days. As you can see that the Modern Warfare 2.0 is recently released. So right now it is having heavy users and the sites are completely filled up with heavy loads so that's why they are having the issue. So it might meet, we might need to wait for at least, you know, around four to three times. Once after that, we most probably will be able to fix the issue up. And this is what you have to do. You just have to wait. Like if any server issues are going, we used to wait, right? Same way you have to wait. That is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to restart the Steam. For that, just go over here at the top, click on Steam, go for exit. Once it is done, you just have to wait. So the Steam is right now exited. So you just have to wait for a couple of minutes. Once after that, you just have to open the Steam once again. So I'll do it. Okay, so it is exited completely. Now you go back to the Steam once again. And once it is done, just open the Steam once again and try to launch the game. And most probably that will be working out. Moving to the next one is all about you have to restart your PC. After trying out this one, just go up for a normal restart. Just click on the start, go over here and go for restart. Once restart is done, most probably the issue has to be fixed because basic restart has a lot of influence sometimes and it fixes a lot of issue so just go for restart moving to the next one is all about you have to use battle battle.net if playing the warzone 2.0 right now as you can see i am on steam and you have to depend on battle.net so if you're having the battle.net just uh, go or download it so let me check if i'm having the battle.net so if the battle.net is available, so you just have to install it. So it's not there, so we have to download it. So I'll go for it. Go for Google and search for battle.net. Battle.net. Click over here, go for Blizzard Entertainment. Then you just have to download it. Download and install. If you're for the first time, just make an account or login. And once after that, by here you can see download bot, uh, battle dot I just click on this one so once it is done you know you just have to do this you just have to uh, wait for it you have to install the dot so, so as you can see just install it after installing most probably you just have to do this you just have to log in with the respective thing then just launch the game from the battle dot you can launch the game from here itself as you can see some of the games are there even it is free right now the modern call of duty modern war uh, warzone 2.0 is actually free so you can play it from here itself. So once it is done, just launch the battle.net and try to launch the game from the battle.net, not on Steam, just launch the game from there itself. So it's done. Just click on open, go for run. Now, as you can see, it's there, battle.net is there. So just launch the game. So that is what you have to do. Because this particular step, right? Opening the game on battle.net, it worked for some users. And there are even users this is not working for them but for some users i have to say around 40 percent of users when they done this it worked for them so this is very important and should not be neglecting this moving to the next one is all about you have to use an ethernet, ethernet connection or connect your line directly from router to the pc so that might be working out because we are having a, a error the steam error that is disconnected from steam error is actually due to uh, the issue between the internet and the connection so you have to use ethernet connections and connect your lawn directly from the router to the pc and next one is all about you have to make sure the date time and regions are absolutely correct for that just go over here or either you can go over here so let me go over here and navigate to settings now from here i have to go to over here on time and language so click on date and time first and over here as you can see set automatically this should be turned on and now as you can see sync now it should be there so even after setting this sound you have to sync it right you have to select a time zone and the time should be at automatically turned on and set time zone also be set to automatically on and current date and time as you can see it is correct and move to the next one even if you go for language and region that should be also correct so it should be english united states so that should be that is also very important and vital one and also you have to select the respective country that is my country i'm from india so as you can see this is what you have to select and that is also quite important step moving to the next one is all about you have to do is you have to clear steam cache for that you need to open to steam now go over here at the top and click at the top left steam 
now click on settings now just go to control sorry you have to go for download as you can see clear download cache is available so if you click on this one clearing the download cache might resolve the issue downloading or starting apps so you can go for clear download cache and this will clear your local download cache and you will need to log in the stream again so you can go for ok but uh, i'm skipping this because i'm in the middle of video i don't know the password of the stream so for you you can go for this one go for ok so once after it has been successfully done just launch the game most probably you can see whether it's going to help you guys or not moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the game exe file to windows security so for that just go over here and search for control panel now click on windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now over here as you can see call of duty might be added here so i have added here once so you have to see call of duty modern warfare 2 for it has been added for both private and public so imagine if it's not there then how you can add this for that scenario click on allow another app now just click on browse now from here you are over here in call of duty but most cases you will not be knowing the path where the game is installed most probably if you're on lock if you're installing the game on local c then you just have to open this scroll down and navigate to program file 86 now scroll down and navigate to steam click on steam now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps from here select common folder go for call of duty hq now just go for open and you have to add it you have to select the cod.exe then go for it and you have to add it once you add it it will be here if it's not there just do this way or else you don't have to do anything make sure that private and public both these ticks are un uh, sorry these are checked or else you'll be having the trouble once it is done, go back to the Steam, see whether it's going to fix. Next is run few commands on the CMD. So those commands are these which I'll be giving in the description which you don't have to worry. So I'll copy this. So now what I'll do is I'll go over here in the search and I'll search for CMD. Now I have to click on run as admin administrator. So I'll paste it. So I'm going to paste it and I have to press enter. So it is done. Go for next one that is IP config slash release. I'll copy this, I'll paste it, press enter, I'll go for the next one, that is IP config renew, copy, paste, enter, go for next one, IP nets windsock reset, go for this, press enter, go for net IP, INT IP reset, so go for this one press enter go for i let's interface pv4 reset press enter go for next so just go for all these comments one by one copy this this is very important reset So these are the things which you have to try out once after you're done close this restart your pc open the steam once again and see whether you are able to fix the set moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a network reset you can do this from the settings just go over here on the search search for settings now from here go to network and internet now from here click on view advanced network settings now from here Click on network reset and there is an option called network reset. Click on reset now. When you do this, you will be losing the Wi-Fi connection and you have to connect it back once again. So you should be knowing the password. So it is quite important that you should be knowing the password or else you have to do something else. So you have to know the password. So we have to go for next one. That is all about you have to try with switching to a different network. For example, if Wi-Fi is already connected to one right now this is our office Wi-Fi so it's connected to the Wi-Fi office so I have to check with any other network and I have to see whether I am able to fix moving to the next one is you just have to go for update window so just go to the settings click over here on windows update and we have to check whether you are any up latest updates are there if any updates are there you, have to, you just have to update to the latest version and most probably after updating to the latest version the issue has to be fixed moving to the next one is all about you have to update the game for updating the game you just have to go to the steam and there as you can see there is no update right now but you can update it so always keep in mind one settings you have to do 
then just select the respective game right click and go to properties click on update and always make sure that always keep this game updated base is being set we have three options that always keep this game updated only update this game when i launch it high priority always auto update this game before others so always keep this game update should be selected because this will be up to date so that is why we are asking to do this so or else you have to update every single time when updates are rolling out you have to update it and then you have to wait and all those things so if you are setting this up it will be updated in the background so this is what you have to do so moving to the next one and these are the possible workarounds you have to try out when you are having the call of duty warzone 2.0 disconnected from steam error and how we can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye